Akitu is the name of a New Year festival in ancient Babylon. But you won't believe what it means in ancient Sumerian. The Babylonian script was bilingual with Sumerian. No messing about. Akitu, Ak, or Ag, a suffix meaning of, similar to the Pur from Perseus, meaning pertaining to the god Zeus. Also related to AKA, meaning fleece, AKA Ak, Ag, to do, act, to place, to make into something. So that would be to make something into a fleece. I remind you that Ur is the city of the wolf, as Ur means wolf. Cognate with the ash of Shamash, son of Sin, Zuez and a golden fleece, to wear the golden fleece, would be to become sun-like. Ak, to make a fleece for, or, to make, or, to place something into, something else. To make something into, itu, iti, itud, the moon god, sin. Lord Zu, Zuez, Zeus backwards, Zu, the mirror, of Zu, wisdom, Iti, Ud, Di, Nana, moonlight, the sun, god, Nana, I tud, I did, I too, I t, I d, it. <laughs> we are told. The moon, the month of moon light. Do tell me again about this dying and rising sun god. It too, to approach and meet the sun. I think you'll agree the sun and the moon never meet. Aha! That would be a black sun. An eclipse of the sun, it too, to become the god of the sun. The father of Shamash is Sin Lord Zu. The lion is known as both father and son. Dumu, the child, Z, spirit, spirit weapon. And it is also a curse upon the tablet. And this curse, Ash or Ur, is known as both father and son. This would refer to the moon divinity attached to the sun, possibly giving us Ud Dingir Nana, alternatively Ud An Nana, An originally star, heaven, god or eagle, and when they are merged together within one another, it refers to chaos. D. Itu, the god of the moon light. Dingir Utu, the sun as a god. The Ud related to Itu, the son of the god Nana. Dumu means the child, and Z, spirit weapon the dying and rising sun god. Hmm. I do too means outcry, complaint, a cry for justice. For example, O Shamash, which can mean a great smiter, or a curse devoted to the destruction of God. And this I, cry of pain, is cognate with sus, shush, cry of pain, to capture, defeat, overcome, sus meaning, to overthrow, to hide, remove, again, cognate with jinn, to conceal, and Zeus is known 
as Aya, the outcry of the offspring of the Teus, of the father of the flood, which would be the biblical outer darkness, or, here in Babylon, the gods within Pazuzu, the gods within Marduk, the gods within Ashur, and Shamash dwells within Ishtar, the mountain pit. So Akitu is alternatively to make a fleece to capture the sun, or to place something into to be corrupted, defeated, or to overcome the Son of God, to defeat or overcome the Son. But what does the Sumerian Akkadian word Son mean? Sunin, Somon, Sun, Shum, Bad, to make something into rot, decay. That's what they did. Pazuzu became Marduk, Merodak, Death and Slaughter, a synonym of decay, a synonym of sun, hence Marduk, the sun god. I think you'll agree it is something rotten from the past named Zu, Zu Gim, the body to go to decay, to ruin, the adjective old, ancient, probably enduring, the old, ancient, enduring one, the one who was young but now is old, Akitu, a festival beginning with Sin, Nabu and Marduk, and his magical cloak which makes things disappear. Akitu, to make a cover for something to overcome death. It would appear that they are watching, looking for a replacement for Merodak, evil Merodak, who shares the name with Mary. I do not refer to the person, but the idolatry draped around him. Marduk revels in raising the dead. Akitu, to make a cover for something to overcome death.
Shamash dwells within Ishtar, the mountain pit. So Akitu is alternatively to make a fleece to capture the sun, or to place something in two to be corrupted, defeated, or to overcome the Son of God, to defeat or overcome the Son. But what does the Sumerian Akkadian word Son mean? <laughs> 